We are following breaking news this morning. Special traffic investigators are on the scene of a deadly accident in downtown El Paso. This happened about 1.30 this morning near the eastbound downtown exit ramp off of I-10. That's where we find KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap, who is live with the very latest on this investigation. That's right, one person is dead this morning, according to the El Paso Police Department. Now, we are right now in downtown El Paso. Now, the crash happened in between. As you can see right behind me, this is under the El Paso ramp. I'm going to give you a better look here. You can see police are on scene right now. Now, these lanes were all closed this morning around midnight. They opened back up, but this crash happened around 1 a.m. Now, as you can see, the eastbound lanes are all closed off. Westbound traffic is moving steadily, but as you can see, I'm going to take a look at some video that we shot earlier this morning. Now, there is a white vehicle that is pulled off to the side of the road along with a semi truck. Now, early, a little bit earlier, we did see one man being taken into custody. We're not sure what that is related to, but it was in the area. We did see him being taken into custody by police. Now, you want to be prepared this morning because this is going to cause you a traffic delay. Now, eastbound traffic it is exiting around exit 18 in downtown. As you can see, it's starting to be backed up. So if you're heading eastbound this morning, be prepared to have some extra time because it's starting to back up, but westbound is good. Now, everyone is exiting on exit 18 in downtown, and they're going to be taking Wyoming Street to get back on the freeway, so make sure you allow for extra time for that this morning. Now, this is a developing story, and we will go ahead and keep you updated as more information becomes available. Reporting live in downtown El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. All right, thanks, Shelby. New this morning, President Trump.